name is Colton. I'm Daniel. And we're here to discuss the high school counseling problem. Um, where did you uh, learn your uh, how to get into your career? How to get into uh, your higher education? How to get into your trade or or uh, learn like some kind of IT skill? Um, where did you learn this? Did you learn it from uh, teachers? Did you learn it from uh, uh, other students, did you learn from your parents how to get uh, these accreditations? Uh, or your high school counselor? Probably not. And this is because there's a lot of issues with uh, the workload and the number of high school counselors uh, nationwide and even uh, on a local level. So nationwide we have a very large ratio of 482 to 1 uh, students to counselors and down to Indiana it's even higher at 497 to 1. Uh, and then the they, uh, recommended is 250 to 1 by the uh, American Counselor, School Counselor Association. Um, and only about three states uh, fall under this ratio. So there's 47 states that are above this recommended ratio, and Indiana is almost doubled. Um, also with this um, is that uh, school counselors are extremely overworked. They have uh, an abundance of responsibilities and their main focus is on um, getting those standardized tests up uh, as well as uh, behavioral stuff. They're, there's really not a focus on getting these kids uh, goals oriented as well as providing them the resources to attain these goals. Uh, so that leads to our problem which is that there isn't enough resources or emphasis on, on career pathing uh, by high school counselors. They don't have enough uh, resources and they don't emphasize that they're overworked. There's not as many of them. Uh, there's a problem with uh, uh, there not being this resource in schools uh, on a high school level. Uh, and that leads to us having uh, students to workers, which is our solution to this problem, which is an online uh, learning module, uh, like a, uh, uh, it's called an LMS. It is a learning management system. Uh, there's a lot of free open source learning management systems uh, that we can access. Um, we are, our solution it aims to uh, create a supply chain between uh, students and their careers uh, by teaching students uh, and providing free module uh, career opportunities through uh, and providing information on accreditations, uh, trade accreditation, IT accreditation. Uh, this information just isn't out there. It's, it's hard to find. There's nobody that, that directs you to these places. And so if it's all in one place on an online accessible platform, uh, we, sh we should see uh, some results from that. Um, some examples of an, of an LMS or like open source free softwares are Cogno, and then there's also Course Sites, which is uh, a branch off of Blackboard. Blackboard manages that, so if, if schools even use Blackboard, it can be easily integrated uh, into a school directly, uh, as well as Moodle. And here's an example of Moodle here. You can see that it's uh, kind of has mo it's modulated, it has different uh, percentages of completion through different types of learning modules, which which we would represent as um, career paths and opportunities, uh, ways to um, see what kind of jobs are available and opportunities. And then uh, Daniel will start into our target audience. So uh, as Colton said, our target audience is uh, Southern Indiana high school students, which potentially can reach a national level if it's successful. Uh, currently, high school students are struggling to find what career that they uh, want to pursue, or whether it's higher education. Uh, there's also the burden on the parents uh, to, make, you know, to make sure their kids actually end up what they want, doing what they want to be doing. And the scope of this uh, is pretty large. It just ends up it's over 7,000, about 7,400 high school students in the EVSC that this could potentially help for free. So the uh, service attributes, uh, Students to Workers is an online platform that will not require funding um, from the school to hire more counselors. And we talked with Kathy Weinzapple, who's an expert in education, and she said uh, the main reason that there are not enough counselors and the ratio is so high is because of uh, lack of funding. So this being free uh, and easily accessible through Blackboard, uh, Google, uh, and LMS to students could be a uh, very good tool for them. Uh, this will also have a list of jobs available and uh, connect students with jobs, job, job 
job opportunities. Uh, so how is this tied to the community? Uh, students to workers undermines the tax burden, the cycle of under education can put on a community. Um, it allows students, like I said before, to pursue the, the career that they are interested in and not just get thrown into the workforce and find a career and then switch a career and then switch. They might actually find what they enjoy doing. Um, this shows the Evansville poverty rate by education. You can see that less than high school is about 34% and it drops down to after a bachelor's degree is over 5%. And it's the same, uh, basically the same step, stair step with unemployment. And so this tells us that with higher unemployment rates and higher poverty rates, that this will be more tax dollars coming out of uh, Evansville's citizens' pockets. So how do students to workers provide value? For students designing a focused career path after high school, Students to Workers provides an online platform that offers information on jobs and accreditations for potential new graduates. Unlike the current use of counselors for improved education statistics, Students to Workers will have a minimal initial and operating cost and provide resources that are currently unavailable through the, the technical school counseling system. So as a uh, recap, as Students to Workers offers career pathway information, uh, a list of careers, and a way to uh, align them with uh, employers. Uh, provides relief on the counselors uh, so they can focus on stuff like uh, uh, behavioral needs and standardized testing. Very cost efficient, uh, improves the economy by implementing more jobs and more people in the workforce. And it uh, mainly just guides graduating students on a path that will uh, be successful. All right.